And you might just like to start by bringing feet under the hips, lifting the toes, all 10 toes up off the ground. Just feel that steadiness without your toes being there. And then slowly as you like, let's take our toes down. Maybe just the big toe, maybe just the second toe. Let's call it the index toe. <laughs> maybe the next toe. And just get that sense of connection with the earth. You might like to just start swaying a little as you press through all four corners of the feet. Just feel that sense of steadiness and balance. And you might roll back onto the heels, roll forward onto the ball of the feet. And maybe side to side, just following the energy, following this felt sense of groundedness. Let's take our arms down, turn the palms front. We'll take a breath in and lift up. At the top of the breath, let it go. Elbows wide, shoulders heavy. And just really empty out the lungs, every last bit. When your next breath comes, turn the palms and lift up again. And sighing out. Sink the weight back onto the heels. You might feel a sense of busyness dropping away, mind becoming a little less full. And one more time. So let's bring our attention to the chest now. We'll take one hand to heart center, one hand to lower belly. Just see if you can let every other part of your body be heavy. Elbows, shoulders, weight might roll back into the heels. But you can still feel your toes. When you feel settled, just bring attention to your next breath. Just one breath, inhaling, belly expanding out. And then Maybe a pause at the top and then sigh out. And see if you can follow just one more breath. And you might notice as you take your attention to your breath, Maybe you just find a little space between thoughts, between that feeling of busyness or doing. Maybe we very slowly just switch ourselves towards being. Human being, not human doing. I invite you just to start taking your attention to just notice things around you. You might notice feeling of the air on your skin on this beautiful Melbourne morning. You might notice the sounds around you, it might be birds or traffic noise, the hum of the fridge. Freak of the wall. Your eyes are open. You might take your attention right out to the periphery of your eyes, right out to the side of the body. What can we notice today? Just drawing attention back inside the body. Just feel the tongue resting on the roof of the mouth. And 
as you take another breath, you might just notice this feeling of saliva in the mouth. This is just our body moving towards stillness, digestive system switching on, immune system protecting us from illness. Just physiological processes in our body we don't have to remind ourselves of, we don't have to think about, but we do have to allow through this act of stillness. Can it be enough just to stand? you find yourself planning or making a to-do list in your mind, just notice that too. You might ask yourself, is this moment right here, right now, worthy of my attention? Today we're going to come back to our practice of Yi Jin Jing, our muscle tendon strengthening classic. We've done, I think, four weeks now, so I'm hoping that these 12 forms will feel a little bit more embodied, a little bit more in your muscle memory. But if not, that's okay. But we might start today just by a little bit of an investigation of this idea of Qi in our body. So let's open up our hands. And we're going to turn our longest finger right into the middle of the palm. So just roll it in. And exactly the point where it connects with right now, this is our laudum point, point on our pericardium meridian for calm, for the entry of energy into our body. So we're going to float our arms up and just turn the palms in towards each other. And you might just like to bring your attention to that laudum point, right in the middle of the palm. And our laudum points are open to each other. And just see if you can bring your attention to your next breath. So belly is expanding and you might feel the arms widen just a millimeter or two. And then as you sigh out, you might feel the hands come a little closer. Let's bring your attention outside of the body, in between the arms, in front of the heart. Just let your shoulders, elbows, hands be heavy. You might notice as you take your attention underneath the feet that the knees are just slightly bent. You're feeling that heaviness through the feet. Now, Head and shoulders are stacked over the hips, over the ankles, so we're allowing the crown of our head to lift up. Our spine is straight. And just take notice of this feeling of chi, of energy moving in the body with each breath. So our chi can be stagnant or it can be excessive or it can be deficient. And it's only when we're in balance that we have the right amount of energy for everything we need to do. So you might just take a moment to notice how you feel today. If your attention is being drawn to parts of the body that are stiff or sore, it might mean your chi is stagnant. If you're feeling like you want to go back to bed right now, 
and just be lazy for your Monday, then it might mean your chi is a little deficient. And if your mind is busy, if you're getting frustrated or agitated, it might mean that your energy is a little in excess. So just notice which one it might be. And when you're ready, let's slowly take the palms down. So we're going to start by just drawing our loose fists together. So draw the hands in. Just notice that feeling of tightness in hands and across the chest. And then let it go. You might shake out the wrists. We're going to bring our inside of our wrists together. Just open your hands, just like a lotus flower. Take a breath here. And then we're going to draw the fingers together. Now have a look at your hands. Keep them kind of side by side. And just notice if one hand feels a little longer than the other. It might not, but maybe just notice if one's a little longer. And whichever one that might seem longer, let's just take it and we'll shake it out a little bit. And you might just say, just form an intention in your mind. Hand is growing, hand is getting longer. She is moving. And then we'll bring our wrists back together. Draw our hands, our fingers together. What's happened? What happened to you, Emma? Same. Same? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah. Just a little bit longer. This is just this feeling of chi, of energy moving, blood flowing in the body. So let's take the arms down. This time we'll just take a breath in, feel our palms slowly rise up. Let's see if you can keep your attention on that inside point, our laugum point, the inside of our palm. And we sigh out to take the hands down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, let go. So feel like you're drawing energy from the ground in through that midpoint in the palm. And most important thing is just to move with the breath. One more time. And we'll just shake it out. Okay. We'll do a few warm-ups before we do our yi jing jing today. Let's start by back of the hands coming together, knuckles touching. We'll inhale to lift up. And we'll exhale to take one hand behind, one hand in front. Inhale to draw the knuckles together, lifting up. And turn to the other side. Now see if you can just keep your hips facing the front here. Following the breath. And now if you'd like to open through the hips, if your knees are feeling solid, you might just take your eyes onto the fingers as they roll behind the body. One more time, each side. All right, let's take both arms up above the head, big breath in. And as we sigh out, just open out through the side body. Lifting up, breathing in again. Exhaling, letting go. If 
You can keep both feet heavy into the ground. And we'll draw the hands back down. Let's draw our hands to heart center. Take a breath in. This time we'll push hands out both directions. Turn the hands up, draw the fingers and thumb together. Let the shoulders be heavy. Take a breath in. As we sigh out, we'll turn our chin to the shoulder. Inhale back to the center and sigh out. Keep going in your own breath. Let's turn the palms over, take them to the base of the tailbone. So you might just rest your wrists on the tailbone. Let the head shoulders be heavy. Take another breath in. Exhale, turn the chin. Just gently look behind. And one more time. And we'll sigh out, shake out. All right, so we'll start our Yudin Jin practice. First three forms are just this simple act of bringing attention to energy's entry into the body. So the first form, we just curl the arms up, bring the hands in towards the heart, and we sigh out. Inhale. And exhale. So just notice where you're feeling the energy in the body. Moving with the breath. Next time we bring the palms in, we'll turn the hands out and press out to the side. Inhale. And exhale. Now we draw energy in and we turn the palms up. Feel like crown of the head is lifting up while you're so heavy in the heels. Inhale down. Exhale, turn the palms pressing up. Keep going in your own breath pattern. And we draw energy in and bring the palms down. So let's keep moving. We're going to empty out the lungs, take the right hand across the body, take a breath in and we lift up. Sigh out as we take the hand across, all the way across. We inhale to roll back to the center. 
And we exhale down. Empty out. Take that right hand to the base of the spine. Left hand goes down. Empty out. There. Inhale. Lift up. Twist and turn. Looking behind. Sigh out as we take that hand across. Rolling through the mid spine. Inhale. Back over the head. Sigh out. Empty everything out. Lifting up. And keep your eyes right on the fingers. Inhale to lift. This is a kidney form for our sense of flow and movement, creativity, willpower. Next one, we step our left leg behind the body. So come into a warrior stance. Right knee is bent over the ankle. Extend the palms out. We take a breath in, drawing loose fist to shoulder and tailbone. Meet the fist with the chin. And then sigh out, open out. So we're turning our spine. Inhaling, twisting, chin meets the fist. And we exhale, let go. If you feel wobbly at all, just bring all your attention back under the feet. You should find that inside of the thighs, those muscles switched on, feet are pressing into the ground. The most important thing with this form is to be stable and just feel the sense of energy Moving in and then letting go with each extension of the arms. Shoulders stay heavy. Fingers reach away from each other. Let's step the left leg forward and we'll switch sides. Right leg comes behind, bend that front knee, extend the arms wide, take a breath in. Exhale, let it go.
And let's step the legs back in towards each other. We're going to draw energy into the body. As we sigh out, turn the palms out, drop the tailbone back. We're pressing forward, weights in the back of the body. Inhale to lift up. And then exhale, push behind. Inhale. Sigh out. Doesn't matter how low you get. Just feel that connection under the feet. We inhale to lift up and letting go, push behind. This is a wood element form for our liver and gallbladder. One more time. and bring the arms back to the body. This time we're gonna take our left hand to lumbar spine, your right hand comes behind the head, take a breath in, turn and look back. As we sigh out, elbow comes across the body. Doesn't matter how low you get. Inhale to roll back, lifting and looking behind. And then we sigh out to extend the arms wide. And let it go. Switch sides. Left arm looking behind. Exhale, draw that elbow across. Right shoulder rolls back. Inhale, look and lift back up. Exhale, extend the arms wide and down. Inhale. Exhale, roll left shoulder back this time. Inhale to look up, lifting up. Exhale, wide. It's usually called nine ghost drawing swords or some, something like this. And the last one. All right, let's step our feet out just a little wider than hips. And we'll extend our arms up, take a breath in, as we sigh out, turn the palms down, drop the weight into the back of the body. Inhale to lift up, straighten up. Exhale, sigh out. Doesn't matter how low you get. Just make sure you're not putting any pressure on the knees. Weights in the heels. One more. And let's slowly come back up, step in. This is the muscle tendon strengthening. If your body is feeling a little tired, just shake it out a little. This time we're going to take one arm into the side of the body, the other arm, feel that sense of tension in your fingers. Look at the fingers and then draw it across the body. Sigh out. 
in the pause of our breath, take the hand down, scan the earth, and only when you're coming back up, we draw energy in, and then we switch sides. And see if you can just bring this attention to the feeling of stillness in between the breaths. slowly come up to stand. The next form we turn to the side, lift your heel up, draw both hands back, take a breath in, and then step out, sigh out. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale, push out. And you might like to come down all the way down. If you don't, that's okay. Drop the knee down, take a breath, lifting up. And then we exhale, lift back up, switching to the other side. Inhale, exhale. Draw in, energy in, really pushing out, letting go all the way down. You might drop the back knee, take a breath in. And then exhale, roll back, press up, switching sides, inhale, exhale. One last time. And shake it out a little bit. All right, we'll bring our arms behind the head, elbows wide, interlace the hands. And just with your thumbs, find those occiput bones, just underneath those bones. We're gonna tap on this point of our body, our feng shi point. Take a breath in. As we sigh out, keeping the back straight, slowly bring the head down. You might bend the knees a little. And sigh out, let it go. Let's take another breath, lifting up, press through the feet, press through the heels. And let it go. Breathing in, sighing out. Feel that deep connection under the ground. And we inhale to lift up. And let it go. Two more times. And 
and the last one. All right, let's bring our arms down the final form. We interlace our fingers, take a breath in, lift up, press up, look up. We're gonna take those hands forward, press through the heels again, and we'll come down all the way, hands come down. In the pause of your breath, you might like to take the hands to the left and then to the right, just scanning the earth. Inhale to turn the palms up, welcoming in energy from the earth and then storing it in the body. Take a breath, lifting up, pressing up, looking up. Sigh out as you keep those heels heavy, bend the knees if you like. Scan the earth. Inhaling. Keep going in your own time. Let's bring our hands to our dante and just fold one palm over the other. Let the shoulders be heavy. Give yourself a minute to notice this chi movement in the body. This is the muscle tendon strengthening classic qigong forms. So you probably notice quite a bit of movement, quite a bit of engagement. Our muscles, of course, control our action, our karma. From our intentions come our actions and whatever those actions might be creates the destiny we have in our life. Will it be one of transformation? Will it be one of restless habits? We come to them out each time to see if we can move our habit energy to somewhere new to give ourselves discipline and practice to create space in our life. Let's bring our palms together. Let's create the last little bit of heat. And you might like to bring the palms up to the face. Let's join the palms together and just thank each other for shared energy of practicing today.